Live with Regis and Kelly. Today, there's nobody else on TV like him from the Super Smash Series American Idol, Simon Cowell. And... Oh, come on. Ooh. I don't care. Bad judge, bad judge. Up? Simon doing his thing there. Well, you know, he conquered the role of the nasty judge in the hit series American Idol, became one of the most talked about figures in the entertainment business mm -hmm. doing it. Now he's trying his hand at matchmaking in a new CBS reality show that he'll be exec producing called Cupid. Here he is, Simon Cowell. <laughs> Look at Simon. Nice and hard, yeah. Nice and hard. Which one of us? He's in back in shape. You got there before me, Kevin. Anyway, look at Simon. What's not to love about Simon? Come on. I'm telling you, Simon, got the world by the tail, you know? Yeah. Now you got a second show and American Idol coming to a thrilling conclusion the next week, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Simon, what do you think of the other celebrity judges? I mean, the celebrity judges that you've acquired this year. Well, they've been all right. Uh, actually, no, I'm lying. They're boring. Really? <laughs> a complete waste of time. Why shouldn't it just be you judging the whole thing, Simon? Well, that's what I said. <laughs> no, well, no, actually, no, I did have an argument with, with one of the executive producers because I said, look, we've done all the hard work, okay? We've right. gone out all over the country. We've had to listen to these dreadful people. Mm -hmm. And just when it gets to the good bit, we'll bring on a celebrity judge. I mean, why don't you bring the celebrity judge out on the road with us and see how they... I mean, you wouldn't get Lionel Richie going into Detroit listening to 300 people who couldn't sing. Right, right. I mean, no disrespect to Lionel, nice guy, but uh, right. it's our show and we want to stay on it. Right, right. Ooh, very I good. I guess no more celebrity judges, huh? No, no. There will be celebrity judges, trust me. I thought I, I loved the Neil Sedaka on the show. I loved hearing those kids sing his old songs. Yeah, yeah I mean, I like the songs. I don't particularly want him sitting next to me, that's oh, all. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Randy, I mean, I'd go for dinner with him, but... What about Randy and Paula mm. this year? Have they, have they toughened up at all? Um, I honestly cannot understand a word they say. <laughs> and, I, and I'm being serious. Uh, the other day we were sitting on the show, and Randy's barking. Right. Literally barking and calling people dogs. <laughs> Paula is comparing somebody to her diamond who one minute is hard but also soft. It's a singing right. competition, and then started talking about ice skating. Right. And I actually thought, this could be beamed live from Mars, this show. Right. For all the sense it's now making. Because I couldn't understand a word of it. Are you going to judge next year? Uh, I can honestly say, Regis, I haven't made up my mind yet. No? No. Really? no. Oh. Well, you will be the executive producer. Uh, no, um, I've, it's, it, it's, it's a Im really important decision at the moment. Um, they have said to me, we'd like you to come back. But it is a very, very long period of time. And I, and I honestly don't know whether I should do it yet or not. What about the Junior Idol show? There's going to yeah. be a Junior uh, Idol show. Junior now. Idol? I would rather listen to fingers going down a blackboard. <laughs> and I'm being serious Poor little now. children no, no, singing. No, it's not poor With their children. hopeful mothers. No. I'd ban, I'd ban and anyone under the age of 16 from, from singing in a competition like this. Like, we need another Michael Jackson in the world, right. you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? No, but truthfully, it, you shouldn't allow them to be singing under the age of 16 because even if they win, they're going to go nuts. But, but they have to start singing at an early age to be pretty good later on. Yeah, but, but listen, I know what this business can do to people, and I'm right. being serious now. If, if you're 18, you can just about put up with it. Right. The idea of 12-year-olds signing recording contracts, I actually find awful. Right. And I wouldn't have anything to do with this show. And, mm. and apart from anything else, I couldn't, I couldn't bear to listen to these. It's bad enough listening to adults. So I guess kids. the answer is no. And, um, <laughs> we'll be right no, back no, with Simon and Adam. Simon, American Idol on our show right now. Yesterday we had Ryan Seacrest here. Who? <laughs> oh, right, so ah, now, now, what's forgot. the deal between oh, the two oh. of you guys? Huh? No, I, I think he does a very good job of bringing people on and off the stage. You really? know, like those girls on The Price is Right and show. And the faster the better, huh? Yeah. 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 He was on the show yesterday, and we asked him if he had any scoop about you, big boy, oh, and this God. is what Ryan Did had to say. Did you just say big boy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at this, right? Oh, he's going to kill me for this one. Don't tell him I said this. But... You know, he's been seeing this girl that he lives with, Terry, and they're so cute together. Ugh, oh, they're so sweet. It's precious. What a great relationship. I think they're getting engaged. They may already be engaged. 
Ask him about that, but don't say I said anything. Are you getting in, are you engaged with Terry? Let me just first of all say Ryan Seacrest, never go into acting. <laughs> okay. That, that was really convincing. <laughs> Now, okay, Ryan, okay, made up a story. Let me tell you a true story about Ryan Seacrest. Fox very kindly let us go on their private jet, okay, yes. to come over here from LA. Do you know what he said to me? What? It's my first time on a private jet, but I'm nervous. Will you hold my hand during takeoff <laughs> and landing? No. Wait, really? no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Macho Ryan Seacrest. Uh -huh. oh, now, what's this all about right here? Don't oh, I don't want to plug my doll. He's got, he's got a little You're bubble that doll. <laughs> Does he talk? I well, love it. It only shakes its you. head no. I, this was inspired after watching you on a particular show. Words can't describe just how dull you really are. <laughs> and after this appearance? That was totally pathetic. Oh, I love it. That's you know, so yeah. great. You know, that's a ripoff of my bobblehead. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. Right it's amazing there. how similar they look. No, but it's, it's actually quite slim, this one. <laughs> and actually... <laughs> All right, now let's talk about this Cupid, Cupid this new reality yes. show. Well, I'll tell you what happened. We, we were always asked, okay, why don't you do uh, Comedy Idol? Why don't you do Acting Idol? I said, well, the reason I think American Idol works is the humiliation aspect of tons of people who can't sing but think they can sing. Mm -hmm. And I said, there's nothing more embarrassing than singing live in public, bar one thing, which is guy going into a bar, seeing an attractive girl, trying to chat up the girl, and having her friends demolish you. <sighs> and as I said it, I thought, Bingo, another hit show. <laughs> so we, we decided, you know, because all these dating shows, they're pre-selected by producers, which yes. I think is crazy. Right. Why don't we put three girls out on the road, they can choose whoever they want, bring back 100, 150 guys, narrow it down to 10, and do exactly what we do on our show, let the public another match great make. great idea. Oh, it's it's great. Great. Casting calls for the men begin next week, Chicago, New York, Miami, and LA, and the show can call in July. Wait a minute. Uh, I gotta ask Simon one question, okay. Simon. Who should win the American Idol contest? Who's the better singer? Okay. Ruben. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Very hip coming up next. Simon, thank you, buddy. Good to see you.